You know, one of our greatest resources in the Ozarks are our lakes, rivers, streams. And yes, it's important to keep attention or pay attention to what you bring into the lake. It's also really important to think about what you may take out of the lake. I have Francis Galiski with me with the Missouri Department of Conservation. Always good to see you. Glad to be here, Tom. I'm not kidding. You've got to pay attention to what you might be bringing out of our lakes. Right. And hydrilla, what we're talking about today, is an aquatic invasive plant. A good example. One way it spreads is what you drag out. When you drag it out of the lake, it can be attached to boats, it can be attached to kayaks, mm -hmm. and it can stay viable out of the water for up to four days. Talk to me, though, because usually when you say invasive species, we're talking about money. Right. Yeah, right. this is right. going to cost. Uh, can you give me an example of what this, what kind of effect this can have? I'm glad you brought that up because, yes, they say, how is this going to bother me? Mm -hmm. uh, Florida is kind of our case study for hydrilla because they have it the worst. And they did a study there, and I'm going to read this. In a seven-year period, it cost them $66 million just to control it. And in Florida, we're not talking getting rid of it like we are here in Missouri. That is just to maintain the status quo. So that is the kind of economic impact from a biological impact. Mm -hmm. It can cause oxygen uh, dissolved problems which can kill fish. It can reduce the size of fish which also has an economic problem or it has economic impact because if you don't want to fish a lake obviously there's economic ripples from that that will impact all the people who sell stuff to fishermen. This is a ripple effect yes, then. Yes, yes. Is this throughout Missouri? What, 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 how, how big is the problem here? Well, lo thankfully so far it's small. It's been found in a few spots, but Greene County seems to be ground zero for a hydrilla in Missouri. We found it the most here, but we're on the winning side of it here in Missouri. There, we've been treating it for several years, and some of the ponds that we initially found it in, now we check in and it's not there anymore. We still treat it because it can be viable in the soil for up to 10 years, but four to 10 years. But I always like to throw out that, that long number because, right. uh, but we're winning it here. So that's why we're talking about it. We can win this battle. Okay. The Department of Conservation, of course, is doing their part, but really we have to do our part. The citizens are the ones who are, can really win this battle because they're the ones who are the recreational water users, right. the boaters. And one way this spreads is by attaching, when, when you boat, when you uh, fish or whatever in a vegetative water, vegetation attaches to the, to the boat. It could be hydrilla. The way we fish here in, in Missouri is a lot. So I, I said it, it remains viable four days outside of the uh, uh, outside of the water. Right. That's a couple more fishing trips for a lot of people. So if you take it to another body of water, you spread it. You're spreading you've introduced it. it there. Is it just best to assume that you're bringing stuff out of the lake, like hydrilla? So do something now. What do you need to do? Clean, drain, dry. That's that's the mantra we use. Clean your boat. Drain all the water out of it, let it dry for a, a several days before you use it again. And yes, because you can transport several things. It's not just hydrilla. It can be zebra mussels, uh, but it can be several things. It's just a good way to keep things from spreading to other waters. Invasive species can be a problem here in Missouri. So far, we seem to be on the winning edge of it, so let's stay on the winning edge. And it's just going to take everybody who enjoys our area lakes right. to kind of do it simple. Tell them the mantra again. Clean, drain, dry. When you get your boat out of the water, clean it. Drain all the water out of it from the bilge pumps, from everything else. Let it dry for several days. All right, so we all need to be good stewards of our area lakes.